Hi, my name's Dave Close. I build some of the most outrageous barbecue pits in the world. It ain't bragging if it's true. Good morning folks, Dave Close, Barbecue Pits by Close, Houston, Texas. We've got a new one for you today for one of the offshore drilling rig service companies. Uh, painting this offshore enamel, multicolored. It's a 30 by 8 main chamber with the upright square firebox we call the ultimate. They buy this one 100 to 1 because it's so popular, so easy to use. It's designed to run to 250 degrees and park, so it's simple. They wanted a vaulted roof painted with the offshore enamels. It even has ventless, tankless hydro ignition, push button on demand hot water and cold water. It has locking satellite, cutting table, three quarter inch thick, so you can lock all your stuff, your cowboy hat, your keys, your wallet, whatever, if you want to go swimming, things like that. You can lock up your expensive knife sets. Dual burners, hot grill plates, in the burner, you have hammered wok. Then you put this in there, you have pot boil, pot deep fry. Then you fold it down and you've got the hot griddle plate for all your grilling because it's a known fact that a 10 year old boy can eat his weight. So this does all the rashers, hamburgers, hot dogs, eggs and bacon, fajitas, things like that. It's got air shield all the windward so you can change it up. Even the polished aluminum fenders teardrop you have 10 by 10 ply trailer tires with one inch thick solid aluminum slots they're eight lug with 916 studs this pit weighs about probably 7,000 pounds and those axles are 14,000 it has 26,000 pound grade 8 chains on it spare tire the lighting is marine underwater LED lighting and it's in half in one inch steel pipe so you can't pull wiring from going out and doing weddings out in the woods things like that plus it's built for cold climate terse climate Pentagon, Chile, Siberia, Russia, Yukon, Alaska, Stavanger, Norway where they actually cook at 50 below zero uh, I've actually fired a 44 Magnum inside this pit it did nothing counterweighted doors nitrogen gas shocks steel supports for windage. When these are bolted closed, when you pull the bolts, bolts, the whole side comes up by itself. In the firebox, it's double wall insulated. It's three by three by three by six inches thick. Six inches at the top, meat rack, aerated barriers. You have two by half inch flat bars and double runners on all sides of the firebox to give it strength so it doesn't bow 10 years later half-inch plate door. You have three-row pull-out shelves, which are actually convertible to two rows and one row. So if you want to split the difference, you can do 120 racks of ribs every three hours, just in the main chamber. You take the top two shelves out, now you can do the whole haul. You can probably Sitting on the hunch you can just three 135 pound hogs in there head on. Best stainless table, 14 gauge. Uh, I, you can stand 20 men on that table and it won't hurt it. The upright is all pull out shelves also, but it's set to 50 degrees cooling in the main chamber. <coughs> I ran thermal shielding down below. Now, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> On the thermal shielding, the, the plates in this pit weigh 370 pounds. They're three eighths and half inch. You know, people try and emulate it by doing a little 360. It doesn't work. This much is a 100 degree variable. 
it has to be heavy for it to really work, not just a look like it doesn't work. They can copy it, but they're not going to get the performance. I've always said that a Volkswagen and a Ferrari are identical. The only difference in them is performance. Well, this is designed for performance to run to 250 and park, which is the ideal cooking temperature. This also has an eight sausage rod kit that you pull out the shells and run rods. You can run butcher twine between the chickens and turkeys whole and string them in there and get like a dozen turkeys, whole hogs, lamb, cabrito. You can do short and long hoop sausage by the hundreds. And that's the idea is to have it convertible. It even has condensation drip shields so everything runs back in the pit and not on the deck or patio pool or wherever you have a pit. American made tell true thermometer is the best made, you know. You have a slide out steak grill, two by four foot. You have a two by four foot slide out steak grill on stainless tracks. This weighs 500 pounds. It doesn't look it, but it does. It also locks into place so that you have all of your grilling, you've got a chrome wheel. The chrome is an option. But say you're cooking and you got X fire and you want to walk away for X minutes. Well, the opaqueness on chicken changes in about six minutes. The opaqueness on shrimp is about seven seconds. So all you got to do, you're going to walk away for like eight minutes. You set this to the right height and lock it. And that allows you to interrupt cooking for eight minutes and not cool off for continuous cooking. So it makes it pretty sweet. It even has stainless cables, so they're forever. You have a pull-out ash charcoal meat rack to clean it. You got counterweighted doors, little smokestack. That way you can put the fire to windward. And just up to this one, if the wind's blowing that way, you can build a fire over here and do that, and that offset grills as well as offset smokes. People say, I want elk heads on it, but they're already on there, you know? Three quarter inch cold roll rods. Now in the front, this is a bit unusual. This is painted with the offshore enamel. This is the tower that goes up the tree. This thing in real life, this thing can pick up a 40 foot steel container and carry it all the way up the Christmas tree to service all the things on the tree. And I thought that was kind of unique. He wanted one exact built to specs. So, uh, not a problem. You've got low pressure for the on demand hot water sink, you got high pressure for the burner table, 8K jack, battery operated breakaway switch with the electric, dual electric brakes. I mean, I can't imagine needing anything more than this to cook. This will do up to about 500, 600 plates per load. You want to watch for my next video in about two months. I'm gonna, we did a crawfish trailer that would do 10,000 plates a day with 340 gallon tanks on it. And we're getting ready to start one that's 440 gallons and do 14,000 plates a day. A pit like that, will make $130,000 a day. Pays for itself twice the first day. That's, that's, that's incredible, man. Who are these people? <laughs> well, be on the lookout for our next videos, and I enjoyed you watching. Thank you very much.